more music now. So, Tekken Tag 2, new trailer, new um, Fight Lab gameplay featuring Combot. Well, there's a thing about Combot that I want to talk about. So, in Tekken Tag 2, you'll be able to customize Combot to have characters move specifically. Like, he won't be random like Moku's and you can actually customize him to have moves. My question to you is, is this a good idea? I mean, if you ask me personally, I'm going to say no. I think it's broken because nobody in their right mind would like to play combat with EWGF's Brian's knee that takes your guard off, waning moon from Wang or Ogre with giant swing from um, King, Armor King and King's grab with all with safe moves. How about that? Wouldn't that just suck? Like, that's just unfair, unbalanced, and broken. Like, personally, if you ask me, I think he should be restricted to offline gameplay, and that's it. Just like Jim Pachi was on Tekken 5, because I heard people say he was overpowered or something like that. Well, this right here has the potential to be overpowered, but I have to see how it's working. Also, in the Fight Lab gameplay, I think I've seen a kick animation from Tony Mitsu. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope it was. And was that Prototype Jack in the video, or was that just a Jack customization? Because people think it's Prototype Jack. But that's all I have to say. Peace.